It's only been a week since the last Fortnite update, but my name's Matt and I'm back to give you guys the lowdown on everything you can expect in today's 15.21 patch. We've got terrifying predators, a new mythic item and a whole slew of competitive updates to get through in under 5 minutes. First up, the changes that I know all you Pro Guides fans are going to be interested in, let's go over the major changes to Fortnite Competitive. There are some major changes coming to the competitive playlist this patch. The Rift Fish and Shockwave Grenades are going the same way as the Elevators and IO Guards, and that's firmly out of any competitive playlist. Sand Tunneling will be sticking around at least through the rest of the season, which is pretty cool considering it actually works now. Oh, and they've promised to keep an eye on the bars system and how it works in comp at the moment, because as we all know, pretty much no one buys anything because it's also expensive and your gold doesn't carry over from game to game like in pubs. Comp in general is also undergoing a bit of an overhaul. We already knew that the rest of the FNCS this year was going to be trios only, but now we have a fair bit more intel on how it's actually going to work. For a start, all players are going to compete in a single cross-platform player pool, meaning there's going to be no separate FNCS for console players. This means that console players can now team up with PC players. This could see the true rise of the console player as a competitive threat. The next major change is to prize pools. All the prizes have now been shifted to the finals of each FNCS, meaning you'll really have to fight your way through to the end to get that big prize pool in the finals. But hey, don't worry for you weekend warriors, there's still going to be smaller tournaments coming up. There are going to be solo Saturdays which are weekly cash cups for champion level players with cash prizes at the end. Oh, and if you are a console player who's a little bit worried about the future of console competitive, Epic have said that they'll be releasing new console exclusive competitions later down the line this year. Do you want to get prepared for all of these new tournament opportunities? Say it with me now guys, you need to be checking out ProGuides.com. Look, I know what you're thinking, here comes Matt with another plug for the website. But trust me, we've got a Clicks Master Course, we've got pros coaching 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, and we've got an awesome VOD review system. If you're taking Fortnite seriously and you want to improve, then you have to give it a try. So usually we do this big thing about leaks, but there aren't really any new cosmetics that have been added to the game this time. All we've got are the new Predator items, which are all now earnable through challenges. Completing these challenges will net you the Hunter's Arsenal wrap, the Hunt Loading Screen, the Hunter's Trophy Back Bling, the Yaoja Wrist Blades, the Predator Skin, and finally the Bio Helmet Online Emote, which will let you remove the Predator's helmet and see his giant forehead. Look at that thing, it's huge. The Predator has also been added to the map as an NPC boss that can be fought in the Stealthy Stronghold. Defeating him will net you the Predator's Cloaking Device, a mythic item that allows you to become nearly invisible for a short time. The effect is removed by swapping weapons or when swimming. It'll last for 30 seconds after activation with a further 30 seconds to cool down. There will also be an exit animation that will take a second, so you may not be entirely safe after using it. As per Epic's rules on new additions to the loot pool, this thankfully won't be seen in competitive playlists for at least two weeks. And honestly, I hope it's never seen in competitive playlists because who the heck wants to fight against an invisible opponent? Not me. No, thank you. We thought that this update might include some changes to the map at last. There were some big leaks around the Colosseum becoming vastly different, featuring some boats, but it seems like that won't be happening just yet. In fact, other than the new Predator apartment in Hunter's Haven and the new boss fight in Stealthy, absolutely nothing has changed at all. Which kinda sucks, not gonna lie. That honestly seems to be all there is in this update. To be fair, we weren't expecting all that much to change this time around. The Fortnite status account on Twitter posted what to expect in the update yesterday, and that's basically exactly what we got. Besides, there have genuinely been a whole bunch of changes to how Arena and Competitive works, both in a gameplay sense and in the sense of the tournaments. It's going to be really interesting to see how that shakes up the meta. Maybe we'll end up doing a video on the topic. Either way, Fortnite fam, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. You know, all those good things. And I'll see you in the next update.